and gentlemen, and welcome back to Playtech TV. My name is Kevin, and today we're just going to have a bit of a discussion, and the topic is going to be video card memory, or VRAM for short. So this is a common question that a lot of people seem to have, which is uh, when they're shopping for a new GPU especially, which is how much video memory do I need on a graphics card? Now to answer this question, uh, first I need to ask you guys a question, which is what games are you playing and what resolution are you playing at? So the resolution argument probably comes in there the most because for uh, 1080p gaming, you can get away with a certain amount. Uh, and if you're going all the way up to 4K or if you're going to use multi-monitors or anything like that, you're going to be requiring more VRAM. So that's what I wanted to answer in this video as well. But before we get into that, let's just first talk about uh, the video memory itself. So what actually happens if you run out of it? So say you are running a, a graphics card like a GTX 960 with a two gigabyte video memory on it, and uh, you run over that. So what happens then? Does your game shut off and you know <laughs> anything like that? Well, no, you don't need to worry about that happening. Uh, but what will happen is the uh, graphics card will need to grab memory from somewhere else. So it'll take it from your system memory or your RAM. Now this is significantly slower than the memory on your graphics card itself, uh, which is usually very fast as you could probably tell from the different speeds of you know system memory and graphics memory. Uh, so yeah, it's going to result in a lot lower frames. Um, yeah, your frame rate is going to significantly drop and it's just not ideal. So you never really want to run out of video memory on your graphics card because you'll see the performance tank pretty severely if you ever have that happen. So how much do games use? Well, it depends on the game and there can be quite a variation. Um, but a lot of high-end games do tend to use quite a bit of uh, memory. So for this, I wanted to uh, use the Sapphire Tri-X 390X. So that's a eight gigabyte card. So we have plenty of video memory to play with here. And all of these games are on their highest presets. And I will say for GTA 5 as well, I went into the advanced graphics menu and I maxed out everything in there too. So the GTA 5 one is going to be kind of like worst case scenario with like absolutely everything in the whole game uh, maxed out. But everything else was just on its highest settings like normal. So let's run it and see how, how much graphics memory some of these games use. So what can we tell from uh, those games then and how much video memory they use? Well, GTA 5 was the only one that used over 4 gigs coming in at 4.3 gigs. And uh, that's just game is just an absolute beast to run with everything maxed out. Although Shadow of Mordor was getting pretty high too at like 3.9 gigs. Uh, so at 4K, they tend to use quite a bit. But if we look at it at 1080p, most of them were, uh, or some of them were under 2 gigs or quite close to 2 gigs. Um, this is going to depend on the filters as well. You should be able to run most of these games at 1080p on quite high presets, but you're probably going to need to drop the filters down and that will stop it chewing up as much video memory. Which leads to what I recommend, especially if you're in the market right now uh, for a graphics card. So this is going to be my personal opinion. And I think right now, as someone who's tested so many graphics cards, I think four gigabytes is a really solid sweet spot. Um, for 1080p, that might be a little bit on the overkill side. However, I still think it's, it's more future-proof, and I think it's just a nice sweet spot for right now. Uh, as you know, we previously did the Fury X review, which I'll leave a link to that just over here, so you can go watch that video. And the Fury X came with four gigabytes of HBM memory. And some people thought that wasn't really enough. But remember, the GDX 980 comes with 4 gigabytes as well. 
Um, so I just think four gigabytes is a really solid amount. However, if you don't have as much money as you know to afford a 970, 980, or anything like that, you can still get four gigabyte versions of lower or med medium tier sort of cards out there, like the GTX 960. There's four gigabyte versions of that, and the R9 380, and there's four gigabyte versions of that too. So it's got you covered there as well. So I'd put it this way: uh, for 1080p gaming, yeah, you probably can get away with a two gigabyte graphics card for sure, but you may need to drop down some of the filters. However, if you just want to run everything max out in all your games then uh, four, uh, four gigabytes is going to be your nice sweet spot there and uh, definitely if you're going over 1080p you're going to be gaming at 1440p or 4k or anything like that uh, then definitely go for a four gigabyte graphics card or higher um, which will probably be more future proof you know something like 390 and 390x are eight gigabytes graphics cards and the 980ti is six gigabytes and I think those cards will probably be a bit more future proof than getting a four gigabyte card right now. But it depends on how long you're going to own the card because even right now, um, only a few games are actually getting up to near that four gigabyte cap. So I think you'll be right for uh, quite a while. Now, I thank you all for uh, watching this video. Comment uh, down below and let me know what you think. Uh, do you agree with me? Do you think four gigabytes is a sweet spot or you think it's more or you think it's less? Uh, let me know in the comment section below. Now, thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Playtech TV and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.